you look at the size of that thing, it's huge. Dwarfs every well, it doesn't dwarf everything else, but it's a pretty big tank. It's the VK thirty two M. This is another one of those tanks that I don't play very often, so I thought let's you know, let's just dust it out, let's see what happens, see how it goes. I haven't upgraded the engine on this yet, and it's it's quite expensive in terms of experience. I think it's eleven thousand experience, which for someone like me is gonna take a while. Uh, let's see. Oh, fighting in the redesigned Sacred Valley on top of the tree. This could be good. I've got a personal mission. Oh, 3,000 hit points of damage to enemy vehicles. Can do that in a platoon, but it's a bit intimidating joining a platoon. Still a bit shy. So, yeah. Again, apologies if the upload schedule is a bit wonky at the moment. We have people visiting, so I don't get the sort of office space to myself that often to do recordings. But I'll sneak in some games when I can, when I can excuse myself from being sociable. Speaking of being sociable, um, there's Salute on this weekend, I believe, which is a uh, miniature wargaming sort of convention trade show in London that I was thinking about going to but I kind of I've been to like some gaming sort of conventions before and I've always gone well you know I've enjoyed them but on the other hand I'm I'm kind of a shy person I get anxious around people and I go every time yeah it's fun but that, I probably won't go again so this time I'm sending a friend on the train into central London armed with a fancy camera so I can at least look at pretty pictures and that's you know looking at pretty model tanks and things is kind of what I'd want to go there to do anyway go and meet people but well, not people but there's folks I know that go along and I don't see them very often and I should stop waffling and pay attention to what is going on redesigned Sacred Valley is a lot like old Sacred Valley and a lot like old Sacred Valley I'm in the front when I shouldn't be. I don't know if this tank is supposed to be like a dedicated sniper or not, but it feels like it. The gun has got crazy good sort of accuracy. I don't think the damage is up to much. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's got great pen. And obviously using sort of regular ammunition, the your penetration falls off over distance. So that 150 penetration obviously isn't necessarily going to be, you know, 150 penetration. And God, there's loads of them on the north side. Right, we're going to have to be a bit more, a bit nippier, I think. We're going to have to push hard, push fast. Come on. I would like to actually shoot this gun at least once today. That would be exciting. Let's go this way. If we can get behind them, actually, that would be really useful because I've got to say, those guys on the north have mounted a pretty heroic storming action and it would be a shame for that to go to waste. So let's swing behind them and alleviate some of the pressure because that's what friends do. They have each other's back. I love the new physics with the sort of more bouncy up and down, going up hills and things. That's. Oh, hey. Bonk! Good morning. That was risky, yeah. You know what? <laughs> I'm not going to just kill that guy. I don't want to be a team killer. I've done that by accident a few times with the KV2. I thought you would be taller than that. Where are you going? I don't know, but I want him. Come here, you. You got a scamp. Okay, someone else can finish him. Okay, well sort of failed on Operation Alleviate the Pressure and that guy is really stuck. Oh, now 
Oh, that's the Japanese derp tank, isn't it? Yes, Mark, it is. But 187 damage, I can get a hit in, back up. Or not. This case may very well be. Alright. Uh, what? So I'm not paying. We oh, all right. Uh, we won. Good job.